Drive. Type Speed. Minasan, bonjour. It's been a while, not gonna lie. It's been a while. Been over a, yeah, no, it's been over a year since I've last used my voice, and that was an update video. Ha, huh, ironic. Yeah, this is definitely not the camera I saved with for review. I have the first part recorded somewhere. I've yet to record the part of me actually showing off how it works, though. Since then, I have gotten several more Toku toys, including a CSM, finally. Like, after a whole year, okay? But, like, yeah, I am here to show off something in Minecraft. I'll have to find it. It's not installed. I thought it was. Okay. <laughs> well, then, let us begin. So, as you know, I watch anime. Like, let's be honest, I don't think that's a surprise to anyone that I watch anime. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> so, sometimes when you watch anime, you get invested in some. And for me, the one that I've been a bit too invested in is... Medaka Box. For anybody who knows, you know. I probably put up an image. Why am I saying this? I'm definitely going to heavily edit this video. Okay. Anyways, I'm saying that because today... Oh, I was already out of F5, F5 or F1. Oh gosh, I'm going brain dead today. Yeah, so today I'm going to show off a mod. A mod that... So it's a mod showcase for a mod that I have made. So, first of all, these. These are going to be your, my best friends for this review. <laughs> Anyways, so this mod, uh, I'm probably going to call it the... Right now, in probably the permanent name, will probably be either Madoc will be the abnormalities minuses, or though I might just change it to Madaka box later on or something. Anyways, so there's currently only three characters properly coded in, and some of them are in early stages that have bugs. Literally, by the time I upload this, some of the bugs will be fixed, some of them won't. But this mod originally didn't start off as just Madaka box characters; it started off as just one Madaka box character. Kumagawa. Probably putting up images every time I bring up the name, so. Let me start off with Kumagawa. Yasogi Kumagawa. Yeah, so that was pretty good timing. I had just recently started rewatching some of my old videos, uh, the tearless videos, and I realized, oh hey, I suddenly had to take drastic pauses or in cuts. Ah, uh, gee, I remember the original context as to why I had to do that, and well, perfect timing. The exact same thing happened again. <sighs> so there's a few things that I'm gonna talk about at the end of the video about current direction of the channel, but right now, let's focus on Misogi Kumagawa. So right off the bat, you're going to notice this. This is Steel Ore, which drops a steel, or steel ingot, but yeah. So steel ingot just spawns in uh, just anywhere in the world. Uh, I might tweak the spawning generation, but that's about it. And currently it drops one. My intention is, depending on how high or low I have it, to maybe drop two or two instead, but right now it is stuck at one steel. I'm gonna probably change the name to ingot properly, but yeah. So if you put two of the, two steels together, you get a steel beam. Uh, it just hit me. I think I have. I think I have some sounds on. I don't know what caused that. Okay. I genuinely have no idea what why I'm still hearing the music. Ha, ah, this is a great start. There, okay, glitched, okay. Okay, anyways. With the steel beam, if you put two of them together, and then three over top as if you're making a pickaxe, you get, well, notably this mod doesn't go by MBT data, it goes by advancements. And here, right now, we're about to get our first advancement. The loser vice president. This isn't my fault. I'm probably editing the actual clip from the anime and because this actually has audio to go with it. Okay, anyways. <laughs> oh gosh. This is not the most scripted. Uh, last time I made this old setup, I think I was still early January? This is currently the 31st of January. You're probably seeing this mid-February with my editing face. Oh gosh. 
Anyways, with this, you have officially unlocked a key. If you go into your controls, you'll find a key called the minus key. Map it whatever you want, and you have the powers of all fiction. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on. Why isn't this key coming back? Like, I genuinely have no idea. Maybe if I do that? Okay, yeah, I'm not sure why it keeps coming back. Anyways, here we have the Phillips screw. And if you do the same thing but remove the middle steel, you get the slotted pan head screw. So, to test it out, first I'll summon a sheep. Now, the sheep itself, the sheep itself doesn't do much. If you press... Okay, I'm sorry, this... I'm not sure why it keeps coming back. Okay, there. If you press that, don't mind the bad luck effect. That's something specifically only going to affect my player. Unless you somehow end up with the same username as me. Anyways, it's not noticeable what it does right now, but I will show it off. Currently, you saw it did nothing to the sheep. As intended. Nothing happened to the sheep. Ugh. Anyways, let's say it's night. But first of all, so let me show what the flip screw can do. Simply put, it is a ranged projectile that does three attack damage, but that's if you hit it. When you throw it, almost into kills everything. I've not actually tested the amount of damage it does, but uh, for to put into perspective, I've one hit some Kamen Rider craft mobs, mobs with this, so yeah. I think it affected up to the bosses, but to go back to the all fiction key, or technically it's the minus key, but with Kamigawa being the only minus coded in it, it's basically the all fiction key right now. Am I? Okay, <laughs> this is not going my way. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do this a lot, okay. Okay, take two. If it is night, and you should say, oh, hey. Let me show off what a zombie does. So, here we have our average peon brain zombie. Press the minus key and... There's no more zombie. 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 Let's say I want to summon a few of these. And I tack one. You'll notice... Oh, it's no longer going to be night. <laughs> It'd probably be so if I showed this off in game mode. In game mode zero, you'll notice because they're actually come at me. Originally, this was set to only kill all entities, but I realized that is too much, so I decided to rewrite it so it would only attack, so it would only kill most hostile mobs. See, I'm taking damage, and I am like there, and now drop again. Now, if I press the old friction key again, you'll notice I'm getting health back and food. It gives you saturation and regeneration or instant health. I believe it's instant health, but because it's in coded in a way that it doesn't immediately do that. Now, let's just go back to day, head back over, go back into the game mode one. With that, we have technically already reached the end of Kumagawa, except there's one more thing left to show. So, let me. Oh, ah, not my day today, is it? <laughs> okay, uh, time set 18,000. 18, okay, now let's say for some reason you're going to fight. Hmm. Let's say for some reason you're going to fight the Wither. This technically isn't coded to work with the Wither, and I'm literally going to check right now that uh, mob, mob griefing is off. <laughs> Mob, mob griefing is not should not be on. No, because I'm about to do something very reckless. Okay, I am going all the way out here. Okay, now let's get sand and skull. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing this one because it's probably the easiest one to show off, and this goes with without block sound, so I'm gonna do that. Okay. Okay, no, yes, and just because this is gonna be fun, this is gonna be fun. 
I'm gonna do keep inventory. <laughs> keep. No game rule. Keep. Tori should not be on that. Should not. No. True. 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 Okay. There we go. Withering Heights. I'm just gonna check my brightness. This feels really dark. Okay. Let's show off the slot. It's screw. For anybody who's read Mandaka Box, you know that that is a uh, bookmaker. Doing well with the original minus. Oh gosh. <laughs> Right now, let me show off what it does! Oh, one hit! I died! <laughs> okay, I don't know where I am. <laughs> okay, that's gonna go great. Okay, uh... Is aware? Yeah, uh, you didn't get to see it because I immediately got killed by the wither, but... Yeah, that was a thing. Yeah, it's slowly regaining itself, but... Let me just kill it off quickly. Okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, there, okay. Okay, yes, give me a sec, because that is so loud for my ears. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. Ah, it's loud even for my ears. Okay, there. Okay, you know what? Maybe it should have installed Tom. Should have at least installed more swords so it have the ordinal scale in case this goes wrong. <laughs> no, if you ever see me do this type of review again, no, I will have more swords online installed just for the ordinal scale because this went horribly bro bad. Anyways, uh, this kind of disrupted my entire review. Ah, uh, should have tried another mob. It, I knew he had the health bar, so that's why I immediately jumped to it, but realistically, I shouldn't have done that. Anyways, as you saw, I had an event. I had temporary effects. So, I need, it doesn't need to hit an opponent, but it gave the wither the exact same thing I had. Because I don't know how to code, it did that and unintentionally, but I realized, huh, this actually works really well. So, for those who have read the manga, you would know that Komogami Sogi, bookmaker, has the ability that to turn anybody into a loser like him. Medical Box is a very meta show, so he's like the loser, he can turn people into the loser. The this screw is the one that does it. So to show off what book what the bookmaker screw does, boom. No for all fiction, all this work, you need the advancement the flip screw gives you. Anyways, for eight minutes you get weakness. I think it's weakness two fifty five. Slowness four Bad luck, that's something that technically doesn't affect me because I was already getting it from the old fiction key, but eh, whatever. You get it for eight minutes. I'm getting it permanently. And you get Bookmaker. It's on its own doesn't do much. As far as I'm aware, Bookmaker actually gives you the effects. I'd have to recheck the code. Anyways, if you're wondering how, I run out of effects. There's one way for the person who has come goes to do it. Old fiction, which clears your effects. Or, well, except for... Like I said, bad luck is specifically coded to only work with my username because I'm doing this in tandem with another mod that I've coded, but I'm not going to review yet. But there's another key, which is not technically coded in after the fact, but technically works. If you go into controls and you find a key called, uh, called, uh, what's it called? Yes, yeah, stop abnormality. It affects even minuses. It clears all effects. I even have it not give me bad luck. So let me do this again with all fiction. It does not give bad luck then, huh? Oh, wait, no, it did, and I uncoded it. And at the same time, I uncoded the kill at E for all fiction. Okay. Yeah, so I had this on server in a version that I did kill at E, and it literally did not go well. So, to put it in perspective, we had a ton of mods, and some of them were vehicles, and those vehicles counted as entities. I killed those vehicles. It was not fun at all for them. So, yeah, I decided to recode it, and this is a review on the recoded version. Anyways. It used to give bad luck, but we were also playing with Liquid Luck, which is a mod that actually makes the luck effects do something. Anyways, yeah, you can just spam the all fiction key if you wanted, so food will never have be a problem if you have Kumagawa. Health might be. But anyways, it does that, sets your hunger to zero, and leaves you at one HP, making you the ultimate loser. There's no way you can win a fight, technically, and I'm going to toggle down for Anyways, that is all for Kumagawa. So we head here. Because it's advancement based, if you just press to revoke your advancement, 
technically speaking, this still works. So, for example, I swap it back, I'd get the advancement again. That's just how advancement-based items work. Anyways, let me just do that. Okay. I guess I could have just done slash clear, huh? Yeah, no. See? Okay, revoke advancement again. Clear all effects. Clear. The yeah, stop time reality key does not need any specific advancement because it'd be a pain in the butt to say if it has this advancement a thousand times over. So I just said, if just if you press it, it does that. Anyways, there's some other things. So Kumaga, like Madoka Box as a whole, talks about like protagonists, stuff like that. And like, okay, it has stuff like protagonist, antagonist. Like, it's a very meta shonen jump book. Start out Slice Life, became Battle Shonen, then became basically a meta commentary on shonen. People have brought up that I, Aizumu, I'm definitely mispronouncing her name, is basically an equivalent to a mangaka. Inoue? Inuke? The final boss from the Unknown Shira New York? Oh yeah, I'm spoiling the hell out of Madoka Box. I'm sorry, everybody. But yeah, he's basically the final boss of Madoka Box entirely, is the deconstruction of an editor. Shomgawa is the deconstruction of a stereotypical shonen antagonist. Someone destined to lose no matter how hard they try. Madaka is supposed to be the deconstruction of her protagonist. Senkichi, who is the point of view character, is supposed to be just a point of view character. A deuteragonist or tritronagonist or something like that. So it's like, okay, but if it's such a meta mod, why don't I just add those roles? So, yeah, it, they are the roles. Like protagonist, deuteragonist, tritronag. I've never seen that said aloud, so. I've never even seen Deuteragonist at all. I've only heard protagonist and antagonist. That one I have a feeling. This one I have no idea. I'll probably be like, no, I won't even do that. I'll probably edit a clip of me shoving that into a text speech and have it read out. Tritagonist. Anyways, I coded this on M Creator. In there, it gave extra keys, like kanji. A kanji key, I'm not sure where that is. And then a, the option for colon. Most key keyboards have semicolon, and if you do shift semicolon, you get the colon. Like example. There. But I had set to colon. You'd have to physically go back in there and change the key, or I'd have to set it just to semicolon. Although there are a few effects. So let's start off with the protagonist. And it's like, well, in stereotypical stories, Protagonists, deuteragonists, all those, they seem very random. They they never make sense. So it's like, okay, let's make it just random items. So for the protagonist, it's a cobweb. Protagonist. The main character. Now, if you press semicolon, you will get a few effects. Protagonist. And luck. So, technically speaking, luck, if you have... With protagonist, you get luck 3. If your HP is under 5... You get Strength 3, Resistance 3, and you're supposed to get Regen 3. All your stats as a protagonist are supposed to be at level 3. Although there's currently error where you don't get Regen in under 5 health. Let me just clear it and bring myself down to 5 health. That would be a lot easier if I wasn't in difficulty easy, so let me go to normal. And boom. Okay, I'm just auto regening because that's saturation. Never mind. Uh, there we go. Now I'm not healing as easily. So five. If you have less than five HP, I believe it goes up through the five system. So technically speaking, I need about there. That's technically five. So if I do that now, I would press semicolon. I'm not getting those effects. Okay, I, something seems to have gone wrong. Let me add a bit more fall damage. And now let me try. Not gonna lie, there's some errors on all of these with the coding for the HP. As far as I'm aware, it might actually be if it's under zero for some reason. Anyways, I'm literally gonna patch all of that. So, yeah. Anyways, that's what the protagonist is supposed to do. If you have under 5 HP, you get strength, or resistance 3, and regen 3. And luck three just naturally. And I have it set that protagonist gets the stat of three. Deuteragonist gets the same stats but at level two. And Trichonagonist gets the same stats but at level one. So it's supposed to be a downgrade for every role. Anyways, let me quickly give myself Kumgawa again. 
Yeah, you're gonna see me grab this a lot, so I'm probably not gonna so I'm probably gonna knock it off the item stand a lot. Anyways, let me clear the effects again. You can stack these effects. I'm planning that minuses and abnormalities can stack because we actually see uh Naz or Naze uh Madoka's sister actually in the manga. Not only does she have an abnormality, but we see her also hold a minus at the same time. Styles have also been shown to be held at the same time as abnormalities. You can stack things. It's actually been shown. So it's like, okay, but it's never been shown that you can have multiple abnormalities, technically, unless you're Madaka. So it's like, oh, okay. so it's specifically going to be coded in future versions that if you get one tree of uh, advancements for, the, for any of the abnormalities, or same, and same will go for minuses, only affecting each other, and same with styles only affecting each other, you will lose the advancements that give you the access to those. So, say, I don't know, I, I have Naze's minus, and then I grab the grab the screw, I will lose Naze's minus and gain Kumgawa's. Let's say I have one character style, I grab another character style, I'm going to lose the first character style. Same with abnormalities. I can probably show you abnormalities later. Anyways. For due to Reikonus, the same goes but for the chapter work. You know, let me activate again. You'll see. Oh yeah, there's some temp icons. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, uh, not gonna lie, I grabbed random images off my computer when I was coding the coding things for the icons. Some effects I actually put like effort into grabbing icons for, but yeah, I had Padru because that's my Christmas thing on Discord, so I am so yeah, Padru is currently that. I'm planning to change it to something that's more fitting. Anyways, you get luck to do Ragnus 2. Like, basically the same thing level 2. Cur the current error, because all these stuff seems to have errors right now, is error HP above 0 as a whole. Yeah. But for some reason, the effects just aren't here. I guess there's a glitch. I'll probably try testing it again. Anyways, just Ragnus it has the Acacia Trap Door for it. Luck, region, strength, and resistance all at one instead of two, like it will do right since three of the protagonist. And the same error as your Ragnus currently fits for that. It's been a while since I've actually checked the code to check for the errors. Anyways, let's go on to Medaka Kurokami. And a fun fact I learned is that Kurokami, and never really thought about checking it, is actually the Japanese terms for Black God. So, Medaka Black God. Anyways, if you have six red wool, two white wool, or just two normal wool, I guess, and you go for, uh, add one black wool in the middle, uh, you get, you get this special item. This special item is needed for Madaka and the next step, and the next character. It is the president, the serum president's armband. This is the president, either the perfect one or the imperfect one. Also, uh, the second most important, and for, uh, Trisha Agonist, it is the... The third most important. Uh, there might be some spelling mistakes that I'm going to go later on and correct. Let me just quickly there. And have regained the present. Okay. Now, as that, you do not get any skills naturally. The current error that might be going with this next one is a current error that accidentally makes it so you can get this achievement no matter what. I'm planning on recoding it so you don't have that error anymore. But yeah, next one. If you get a single piece of TNT, you unlock. Perseus mode, when pushed over the edge, that is a reference. So as that, you get Perseus mode slash War God. Now, if you there's a base abnormality key, that is just your abnormality key. If you press it, you become first Mars mode. You gain that, having control over every part of yourself. You have that, but you become War God. I am gonna quickly try, quickly gonna get out War God. You get the effects. War God, and through War God, you get Nausea 4, Hunger 4, Speed, and Strength. Yes, yeah, Strength 7, Speed 4. Past those original coded numbers in Minecraft, they just no longer appear. So, for example, we were just summon a zombie. One hit. I have officially one hit a zombie. Let me try summoning Minecraft Enderman. Enderman? Yep, okay. Two hit an Enderman. Anyways, because of the hunger, I'm losing it quickly. Not to mention I'm already just being reckless with it. I'm going to head out of abnormality. Okay. But you noticed how I got uh, acquired hardware. Yes, Monster Hunter. Yes. But for Mars mode. Now, you are up to abnormality key number four, I believe. 
or is, no, abnormality number five. This is just because of the amount of abnormalities Madoc has. I am not able to code in all of her abnormalities. The example of flowing love, sudden mood switches, the end would be straight up impossible to properly code. And the proof of one's worth, I believe, which literally is just her showing how superior she is. I could put literal image. Or for in love is the fact that she has no restraint on love and the change of emotions is downright impossible to show in Minecraft because it is showing basically how she's able to switch character, switch her personality on the fly with ease quicker than I can even stop my fingers. <laughs> Anyways, so the only ones I can show are the abnormalities through her fourth, through her fourth strength, strange ability, the actual abnormalities. Her true abnormality though is the end it allows her to copy basically anything. She's able to figure out a language just by hearing somebody talk in it for like five seconds and. According to that character's brother, uh, actually the final boss in mid Box Season 1, her his older sister straight up made that language that nobody understands, and it's basically just a string of random numbers, not even binary, and mid was able to crack it, so... Yeah. With that, if you press abnormal Abnormality Key Number 1, you get... You become Mars Mode, or Altered God Mode. Notably, Perseus and... Mars mode, both are names from certain translations, while the official one usually go people usually go with is War God and Alter God mode. So I'm now in Alter God mode. So in Alter God mode, you notice I'm jumping like crazy, okay. You get Strength 5, Speed 2, Night Vision 255, Jump Jump Boost 3, Region 3. It's not showing off right now. Uh Resistance 3 and Absorption 2. So yeah, you can actually see all the effects here. I'm just listing it off there because they actually give the proper numbers. So, notably, if you read through Madoka Box, after you get to uh, Aijimu's arc, you realize, oh, hey, um, War God's actually strong. It's just that she Madoka can't control it, but she's get, with control, it's actually stronger than her other forms. So that's that it's it still technically went stat-wise, but this one's better overall because it allows you to actually see and not die of hunger. Anyways, if you do that, but then, say, Ultra God mode and War God, yeah, give the effect shown. But, so, technically speaking, you get War God, and you get all, the War God effect gives you all the other effects I talked about. Same with Ultra God. Anyways, say, for example, Ultra God mode, and then, let me quickly give myself a Kumgao, show that I can actually wield both. Uh, and here I am, as physical proof, going literally... Literally in Mars mode while with the loser vice president and spam this. Bada bing bada boom, I'm already fully healed. And because of the fact that it clears effects, you actually can do the same as stop the abnormality and straight up lose all the effects uh, through the all fiction key and theoretically bookmaker too. On that note, if you have if you're an ultra god and you get hit with bookmaker, nothing happens because of a weird coding bug. But if you are in with bookmaker, if you are recognized with a bookmaker effect and you try alter alter god mode, you get forsaken god mode. Oh yeah, uh, Perseus when pushed over the edge, having control over every part of yourself for Mars mode and forsaken god, no powers, just skills now. So let me out of it and if I quickly spam heal using this. Or do you get launched back into uh? Seriously? Okay. Talk downfall. And all of a sudden I enter this. Say I get myself the effect. I don't know. Minecraft slowness 10 or 2020. And then I enter with the abnormality key 3. I lose all the effects and I'm simply left with bookmaker. Now say I were to get hit with splash potion. For some aware, it does not reset your effects, but if you press the key, it always will erase any effect you have and just give you Bookmaker. Basically, you're fighting vanilla Minecraft style, except you can't get affected by any negative effects. No, but it doesn't really help me because of what I other mod I usually pair this with. Uh, but if you play with just this mod alone, yeah. There are currently no known bugs with any of these forms I'm bringing up. Anyways, yeah. Clears all effects, gives you Bookmaker. Forsaken God Mode. Around this time, uh, the old other names like Mars Mode and Perseus Mode were officially dropped by the manga and any translations, so yeah. Anyways, if you're in Ultra God Mode, and... Yeah, okay. 
then you have a diamond pickaxe in your hand and you go forsaken god mode you get hybrid god hybrid god both strengths and weakness technically speaking in the manga spoiler and this is actually the same fight where we end up finding out about war god actually being stronger um spoiler for medaka box forsaken god uh, uh hybrid god is the combination of forsaken god and uh altered god and that means but technically according to madaka it's all of her strengths and all of her weaknesses it immediately loses in the manga it's technically argued to be because similar to like every other fight had major climax and then she unlocked the form think of it like the super saiyan blue to super saiyan to, think of it hybrid as the super saiyan blue to uh to forsaken god super saiyan 2 for any dragon ball fans appears off screen and you just see it except they bring up the fact that that's the case and hybrid god never wins and it never appears after that first appearance but here because i actually need to code it i originally wanted to just do oh it does nothing it's a joke because it literally does nothing in mango but i was like okay let me actually code a flex for it if you choose to go it you press the abnormality key number four you get literally ultra god with all of its pluses and you get bookmaker so it's basically just alter god you you, you and with the effect bookmaker to add on now if you're on hybrid god and then you grab an under pearl if you have that achievement and then you go hybrid god again he unlocks Yeah, everything past uh, Awakening God is a spoiler, so yeah. The End God. Thank you for reading. The official last form Madaka ever unlocks only appears once and was able to kill Inkyo. Kind of. Kill his current body, but then he appears as Shirano. It's complicated. Anyways, head out of Hyrule God. You get The End. The End God. I'm going to remind key number 5 for it. Yeah. And got two night vision, jump boost, speed, strength, resistance, unlimited. And you notice all of them are not re giving numbers. Yeah. So on that form, Madaka was able to go so fast that she was literally able to make copies of herself. So I didn't want to make it too fast that you literally couldn't move, so that you literally would fall anywhere. So speed eight, strength seven, resistance five, jump boost six, night vision two fifty five. That's the effects that the end god gives you. Anyways. That is it for Madaka's chain. Anyways, if, say, I were to go back here and then revoke all my advancements, head out, and kill myself apparently, okay, uh, then quickly head over and grab the armband. You do not need the armband in the, in the original manga. Uh, after Madaka, Zenkichi takes the world's protagonist and becomes present. But so these first few effects technically appeared before he became present, but in the order in the actual like uh what's the word i'm thinking of in the order in the actual mod yeah i kind of have the advancements in that order oh yeah i should probably show off uh what everything looks like so anyways let me give myself all the effects to show that we've had so far to show off what they look like And then we head into the advancements. You get the loser vice president tab. That's what it looks like. And the president tab. You get the president, Perseus mode, first Mars mode, forsaken god mode, hyper god mode, and then the end god mode. Anyways, with the exception of Sir Council Armband, uh, we do not need any of that. So let me head back over to grab this. Just to show off what it looked like, I want to do that. These oh, both get their own separate tabs and per Protagon as far as I'm aware, I think protagonist and deuteragonist uh deuteragonist gets his own with protagonist. I kinda set these up in their own tab in no particular order. Yeah, deuteragonist and then Trishonagonist was able to work on its own. For some reason the events with protagonist didn't work unless I made it connected to another one. So I made it connect to deuteragonist. Anyways, finally let's head on to the last member. Or the last person, I guess. To the TP to the next. Introduce to you Senkichi Hitomi, or Hitoshi. TP back if I need to. First, 
need to... Yeah, this one, Parasite Seeing, or as translated, Greedy Sight. Get Parasite Seeing. As you notice, this opens another path. Now, if you press the Avenger can't know how to key before, you would have gone War God. If you don't have any advancements, nothing would happen. But Parasite Seeing is a special ability that lets Zenkichi see the world through another person's perspective. Example, if you were to look at it from a perspective of Agreed, from uh, Kamara O's, he'd see just pure blurriness. If you were to see it from a perspective of a dog, he'd see it in black and white. So I was like, okay, well, how do I show that in Minecraft? And after check asking a few friends for their opinions, it was like, oh, wait, spectator. Duh. So yeah, pressing G turns into spectator. And now I am officially spectating what this peg sees. If you want. And just press H and it will send you immediately back into survival. I have a code that sends you back into survival right now. Before It's supposed to be that that temporary... You only get like a couple of seconds in, in, in spectator. So like you only get like a minute at most to see what somebody else is seeing. And after that minute, you can sit back. Right now, the, the time limit's a bit buggy, so I decided to just cut it out. So you're an unlimited spectator. As soon as you are out of, as soon as I add the time limit, uh, the stop time mode key will no longer knock you out of spectator. Anyways, to show it, I have a spider here. I, somewhere. Oh gosh, spider, 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 spider! Please, no, please. Hi, hi, hi. I just apologize. I apologize. No, no. Oh god, I am so sorry. <laughs> Anyways, let's go in spectator and. Basically, this is why you get to see the different views. Spiders are very interesting in that regard. Anyways, let's go back. You have to do it. <laughs> he was at 1 HP. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel horrible. <laughs> Anyways, now that note, with four black wool and one glass pane, you get the gla a lens. You put two lenses together. It, this is a shapeless recipe. I just have them next to each other up there. You get glasses. With the glasses, you get... I could have sworn there was one in between these. Yeah, for some reason I have this in the wrong order. Okay. Devil style. I made it set to a bowl because there's... I'm literally not joking. Just like uh, the protagonist and stuff. I'm not sure how to properly do this. I'm thinking in the future if I had Aizumu, i give her the ability to give certain players with certain advancements other advancements. Because technically speaking... Parasite Seeing was given through Ajimu after Komigawa stole Zenkichi's sight. Parasite Seeing was given by Ajimu to Zenkichi again when she, when Zenkichi wanted to beat Madaka. In the original manga, that um, this devil style is basically put, he's no longer a, a hero, a villain, a plus or a minus with the devil style. He is a zero. So, as a joke, it's not under the abnormality key, any of the abnormality keys, it's under the zero key. So, uh, let me just go into game mode one. Say I summon, uh, I don't know, spawn mushroom with, uh, uh I'm sorry, Peter. Poison two. Okay, so. On its own, Devil Style doesn't do much. In the original manga, it's supposed to completely erase the idea of plot convenience. That's also another reason why I added those story rules. But, right now, it currently, well, to quote the sign, clears all the, every entity's effects within the range of 100 blocks. So, frankly speaking, I just need to one spawn it, because I can do this in any mode. So, uh, here, Mushroom, Flash Poison, Poison, Zero Key, he no longer has the effects. It works on players too. The command specifically goes at E. At E also affects players. Me and my friends have learned that because we jokingly do slash at, kill at E sometimes and has killed us several times now. <laughs> now let's say we put a Mushroom here, we give him the Poison, and we get all the way over here. He still loses all the effects. It's not that it just stopped loading his damage, it's forever gone. Anyways, if you want, if you ever get stuck in a mode, like, oh, like, your friend screws you over and puts you in spectator mode, that's a good use, actually, to have it still sing you out of game mode one. If you, like, have an admin friend who's a jerk, but keeps you stuck in, in spectator when you don't have any of the commands, just do H and you're out. Anyways, uh, I'm going to do that and that and run. <laughs> as, as far as I'm aware, the 
Currently speaking, it does not clear the player's effects. It's specifically made to counter uh, the protagonist who ran against So, if you have any of those roles, don't feel the need to go to Zenkichi. If you have friends who are using that role and abusing it r- religiously, feel free to go to Zenkichi. Anyways, I am desperately low on food, so I'm going to quickly give myself Kumagawa again. Like I said, like, I'm not even joking, this is my layout in most worlds where I have the mod installed. Give myself Kumagawa's powers as soon as possible, and then combine them with Senkichi's powers, which I slowly have to work up to. Anyways, with the lens, you're going to get Altered God, Senkichi style. And so, in the manga, after Senkichi becomes present, he shows up in the ability. He's the ex-general affairs manager, hence that title at the bottom. And the imperfect president, as opposed to Madoka's perfectness. Anyways, on that note, you if you press the abnormality one key, you're about to get another advancement similar to a uh, war god. Anyways, Mars mode. Trying to become equal or above the perfect one. That was Enkichi's entire goal, basically. It gives you Ultra God mode with everything we've talked about before. It's the same effect. Now, if we do two, we get the same thing again, except for some reason, regeneration actually chooses to work in this. Also, as far as I'm aware, yeah, Resistance 4. I'm pretty sure the other one had it under Resistance 3, so. I think it's, a, if you have, yeah, because it's a slightly stronger version of the effects. Okay. Yeah, not even joking. I constantly find myself using this. And, uh, fun fact, the because you actually lose it, if you do all fiction, you constantly have to switch back into that mode. Yeah, that's a pain in the butt for me. I actually do that, so. Anyways. <sighs> this one has an entire rework. So, after, after Rosen Kiju becomes the present, I just move longer threat. Madaka is along the protagonist. The ship up by the jet black bride arc starts. And you find out uh, something that's on top of normalities, on top of minuses, on top of not equals, on top of specials, on top of normals. Styles. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of powers in Madaka box. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you do that, you get. But. So in there, you get Zenkichi's for the Stern Council, who are currently the protagonists of that arc. First opponent, Nanami. Uh, full name will probably be edited on the screen. I don't feel like looking up Nanami's full name right now. Anyways, when she appears, she is she has the ability of it's actually written here because I coded in because it's technically Zenkichi's ability temporarily too. Yeah, note here is also somebody else's. Nanami's is the other person, so it's the contradictory conjunction style. The current rework is I have to rework how to get with Zenkichi. Yeah, okay. So, in that, she has the ability of... Styles basically can weaponize a word. And you see, Nanami's is weird. Through vibrations, she can technically share it with somebody, temporarily. So, in the manga, she temporarily shares it with Zankichi. But, uh, Nanami's hasn't been coded in yet, because I'm not sure how to write, how to do that. Because, as far as I remember... It's I'm not gonna lie, I last read it in March of 2022, Madaka Box, so I do not remember if Minami's backstory was ever given. I literally have, I'm literally going most of this based off my memory and wiki page. Although I don't have it pulled up right now, so yeah. Anyways, I'm not sure how I want to have it, so you learn styles, because styles aren't related to Aizumu inherently. Like, only minuses and abnormalities have been connected to Aizumu. So I was never sure how to do this, but... I realized, oh, Zenkichi temporarily has, has access to it, so I might as well give it to him, too. If you grab a book, and you enter... Sorry for your ears. If you do that, and then enter uh, Abnormality Key 2, which gives you the improved version of, uh, of Ultra God, you get Contradictory Conjunction Style, making the impossible possible. As I said, styles weaponize the word. The written word gets weaponized by it. Therefore, uh, you basically get to weaponize a word. Nanami's is the word therefore. So if you think about, I, pr- I broke my leg, therefore I cannot walk. But with Nanami's, it's slightly different. Anything she says that uses the word therefore becomes true. So example, I, go- I woke up, therefore I must still be asleep. She will still stay asleep. This opponent has a million health, therefore, they go down in one hit. This person has an unbreakable shield, therefore, it it breaks. It's literally turning the impossible impossible, as the advancement itself says. 
I currently have it with a book because of the joke about like it's weaponizing the word therefore. Weaponizing words. Books, Kamen Rider Saber. I'm a Kamen Rider fan, okay? Give me a break. Anyways, it has a dragon egg because like, well, what's the ultimate contradiction? The dragon egg. A literal egg that doesn't work. <laughs> Every other egg, if you uh, actually go in and do that, or, okay. If you go in creative and check it, egg, none of them are labeled eggs anymore, but spawn eggs. All of them spawn something. And then you just go egg. The dragon egg doesn't even appear. Okay, the dragon egg isn't even in there. Okay. What about in here? Yeah, it's in here. For some reason, it's not in there. Oh, yeah, next channel. I was about to say, I don't remember coding something for when you get a dragon egg. It's like, oh no, that's an actual thing. This one doesn't do anything. It just teleports and is a keepsake. The egg. If luck would be on my side for once. Yeah, spawns chickens. Bad luck doesn't do anything without uh, mods, outside mods to recode its purpose. And same with luck. The only thing it affects is currently uh, fishing. So that's why I'm actually having slightly normal luck. Anyways, because of that. But right now, it's kind of impossible to say, for example, later on, I want to be anything you type in chat with the word therefore gets recognized and happens. So if I say, it's day, therefore, it's night, and I'll probably make it so you specifically have to type it with the capital there. I'm not sure if I actually spelled therefore right. Oh, God. Therefore. Oh, no, I did. Okay. Okay. Therefore, it's night. It's Say, for example, you type that in. Right now, it does nothing. But I want in the future that the mod recognizes whenever something's posted in chat with the word therefore, it'll probably check every chat update from an actual player. It'll happen. Or it'll probably check, first of all, the advancement. If a player types in chat, then checks, does that player have the advancement? Yes. And does that player have the word therefore in it? Yes. And is it therefore written with a capital? I'll probably specifically say that. So if you ever want to write, don't write therefore with a capital like that. But unless you want it to happen. So in the future, that's why I plan to help. Whatever you type in there, technically happens. It'll probably be hard to get everything, like... Like, I've seen some people code it, so like, oh, whatever gets written in a book happens. Like, example, Kieran Dev, or YouTubers I watch that do my Man Hunts, they have one that, like, oh, whatever wrote in a notebook actually came, in a book and quote actually came true. And it was able to do some crazy stuff, like, bring back 1.8 PvP for one person. But, like... I don't know how to do that. So it's basically a fever dream right now. But the example I gave of an impossibly hard mob dying in one hit is currently in. So uh, let me grab it. Yeah, okay. So for now. Yeah, the current command for it is the style key. Right now, I have it set to, I believe, shift C. Yeah, it gives you the effect. Right now, it's called therefore, because I, if you press that key with the advancement, you get the effect therefore. Anyways, the effect therefore doesn't do much. I'm being completely honest. But let's head into the end, for example. I'm going to go in peaceful, because if not, I'm definitely going to die. I... I immediately get hit with a wall. Okay. They see. That's a key check. I can fly above it. Spectator. I can fly above an spectator. I don't know where you go. Uh, master volume. Okay. Let's go. Game mode one. Oh, yeah. Everything is currently under. Phillips screw is under there. Brewing. There's technically potion effects for all of this, so. I originally coded it with the plan of just doing Kumagawa, so in Minecraft and JEI, it's unrecognized under all fiction. All of these are potion effects. Okay. Yeah, if you go into tools, you won't get anything. Miscellaneous, you get these. The crown is an item you cannot craft, it's not attainable normally, and it's just there so it, you can have the crown. Because of the fact you fight a king like being in Ultra Elma. Ultra God is Madaka. Okay. Anyways, I need him. I need him. Oh, yeah, fun fact a slot pan screw actually doesn't work on the interject for some reason. I think the way the Ender Dragon's coded doesn't allow it to be affected by the, by it bringing down one health. It does a chunk of health, but it doesn't take it down. For example, uh... Be so if it stopped flying around me. There. Yeah, it does that. If anything, uh, this... This, uh, the normal Phillips screw does more damage. Barely. 
not even worth it. Anyways, let me quickly... Oh yeah, because you can actually pull it back. Like, unlike the bow where it changes its trajectory depending on how much you pull it back, as far as I'm aware, there's no real change in its direction, in its trajectory if you don't use it. Technically speaking, this actually can show off one way you can use it. Because it's recognized under entities. And bada bing bada boom. It has officially died. That entity is dead. Now just wait for the dragon to perch again. Here, have a mushroom. Have a mushroom in the trying times, not a dragon no. And about old fiction, I'm probably gonna wanna rework how that works too. Old Fiction doesn't just do that. Technically, if you go back to mid Box, Old Fiction is the concept of turning anything into fiction. So, oh, you died? No, that didn't happen. So, in Hardcore, for example, I plan it if anybody in the range of, like, in the server is recognized as in Game Mode Spectre, it knocks you out of it, undoing your death. There's no real way to undo your death in Minecraft. I probably said to Game Rule tr in that it also does Game Rule Keep Inventory True, probably as a way to, like, make up for, like, Oh, you lost all your items when you died? No, that didn't happen. It's all fiction. But there's some things I can't do. Example, uh, erasing the concept of color. Like, I'd love to do that, but to an extent, I can't. Another thing is, oh, a projectile was launched? Okay, that technically counted to kill an E. I'd have to look into the actual, like, name of every effect. Anyways. As far as I'm aware, you are... Okay, good. And, okay, MOG. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> As I was saying before I got rudely interrupted, if you use contra contradictory style, it is, he died. You died. Uh, yeah, the portal spawned under me. I can't even properly show it. Yeah, he died. <laughs> yeah, it is very OP. I wish you wanted to do it's like bosses under a certain percent, players under a certain percent, everything under a certain percent, but I realized, okay, but under a certain percent it doesn't make sense. What if it's above a certain percent? Like, okay, then maybe that will work, but then I realized, okay, let me kill that later. I was like, oh yeah, how am I supposed to differentiate between players? I can do players. I can't really do mobs. The differences between mobs and uh, non-mobs. That is not the right word. Uh, bosses. Players I can do. Mobs, like entities as a whole I can do. But I can't differentiate between the between mobs, different types of mobs. We have passive, hostile, or something like that. There are still a few pipe dreams for one I want to achieve with a bomb. Like I said, like I actually brought some up. Anyways, uh, that's technically all there is to the mod. Yeah, but, uh, let's TP back for a sec. Currently, you can stack things. So, if you want, sh if you want proof of how hellish they can get, first of all, you get the advancement, but you literally can never truly feel the effects of War God, because in order to get out of it, unless you want to cheat, you'll forever constantly have to press H. You shoot Bookmaker, you do this, you do this, you get Forsaken God Mode. Now you get it technically for Saiyan God mode technically overwrites the Zenkichi's Zenkichi's abnormality too, so it happens after Zenkichi's. I think it's the way the mod, mod organizes things, anyways. So bookmate for Saiyan God will forever outrank Zenkichi's. But now you have two Forsaken Gods at once. It doesn't really do much. Let's go. Let's go. Hyper God. And then as Hyper God, you do this. You can genuinely run around like this. And then go into Spectator. Head out out of it. Do this again. Yeah, like you see, it temporarily flickers because it doesn't keep just immediately removes it. Worth Madaka's. Anyways, uh, you can do that. You can run around. Shoot off a uh, screw. Anyways, current goals, like I said, probably... Rework all fiction and not, and uh, the contradictory style will probably be the very last things from this base set of stuff. We're working some of the glitches I brought up will be top priority. Um, then followed swiftly by adding a way to get the advancement without being Zenkichi. Probably literally the same advancement without the parent. Literally the copy and paste of the same advancement without the parent and probably a different name of the code. But when you look at it, the like it, here. Technically, yes, these are its official names, but if you're going to the code and you type it in, for example, you do this one, it won't be Monster Hunter, it'd be Monster underscore Hunter. And you'd have this 
go. For example, uh, actually, Monster Hunter is a great example. Great. Great. I see. I'm not going to lie, the advancement one is the most painful uh, cheat to use. They're painful command. Only. You have to go with Minecraft, Story, Monster, or Kill. I don't even know what's called here. Oh, no, because it's under Adventure. Okay. Adventure. Monster. No. Kill a mob. And yeah, let's say we revoke it for a quick second. Revoke. You get that. Instead, yeah, it's in the mo in the code called Kill Mob, but it's Monster Hunter. So, yeah, there are different names in the code between what you see. So, what you see will be the same thing, but in the code, it will probably be under a different name. So yeah, and um, I'm thinking in order to show that you need Nanami's help in order to get it, because Zenkichi, after a while, after those vibrations run out, loses it. So it's like, okay, if you can find a way to, for example, transfer it over to a player with some advancements. Example, the parent advancement for uh for Contradict Yourself for for uh Zenkichi is the same one as Mars Mode's uh the Emperor Present. So if you haven't recognized that. A player with that when range of Nanami when she presses that ability to transfer the skill, which will probably be exclusive to Nanami, honestly. And Nanami, it'll probably be a key that's shared between Nanami and Aizuma because they're the only two that ever share abnormalities. And you'll probably, like, you'll immediately get, uh, I'm trying to think, a, it'll immediately check for players with that, with that parent advancement and immediately give them the advancement for a time limit and Either a time limit or a range. Like, if you're 100 blocks, it's permanent. As soon as you Nami players out of the range of the Zenkichi player, it'll only last about a minute. And then that, after that timer stops, the advancement gets revoked every time. And then for Aizumu, when you give it to a player with Zenkichi or Kumigawa, because they're the only two you've ever seen, you ever see Aizumu give the skill to you, uh, abnormalities or minuses to, it'll probably stay. Perm it'll stay permanently. Aizuma will be a pain in the ass, pain in the butt to code because she has over 13 million skills, I believe. Uh, 13 billion skills, I believe, actually. And then I'll probably code start coding some specials, like because like uh, I'm not explaining the Minaka power system. I'm sorry, but yeah, those are my goals for the future. Primary goal right now: fixing code, adding adding Nami's proper way of getting doing Minami's and Ajumu's. And you probably rework, I'll probably rework how you get the advancement. You can still craft the items, but instead of the crafting of the screw that gives you Kumgawa's, it'll probably rewrite itself with Kumgawa's, gets it through Ajimu. If, only if you get, for example, Loser. Example, Bookmaker is now the one that gives you the skill, and it only affects Bookmaker. Everything else still needs Imperfect Present, or Imperfect Vice Present. Anyways, uh, that's basically all I had to say. Uh, sorry about so many rants here and there. Anyways, uh, as you.